liking this video, you've come to the right place. We're going to get right into it. Uh, I got the stack right here. Okay, it's uh, 2019. I didn't want to get too far into the year without going over the best movies of 2018. So here we go. I've thinned out the flock. We got the best of the best. Before we start, I want to say this movie right here, super disturbing, okay? Very original, though. Super original story. I've never seen anything like this. And uh, there's a reason for that. It's uh, it's really messed up, kind of, uh, kind of out there. Uh, not for everybody, but a very well done movie in my opinion. So that's Dis by Unearthed Films. Check that out. Uh, see the trailer first so you know what you're getting yourself into. Also, uh, an honorable mention, I wanted to say Hereditary would be on this list. That was an awesome movie, um, but uh, I loaned it to a friend so I couldn't use it for the video. So we're just going with the flow, all right? Check that out if you haven't seen it. Now to start, we got uh, Blind Spotting at number one. Can't stress it enough, this movie over all of them, okay? I saw this for the first time. I was smiling the whole time. It's just like, it, it, it's one of those movies that, that comes around like uh, every once in a while that just like, uh, like uh, it just blows you away in, in all the right ways, you know? And uh, it was super exciting and uh, good performances from everyone in the cast. The storyline is also very like gripping and emotional and really realistic, you know, that you can... Uh, feel for these characters and the struggles that they go through in the movie, I, I feel like, and uh, it's just uh, very personal in a lot of ways. Also, um, what did I want to say? The, um, the, this movie's ability to reel you in and keep you interested uh, and just, um, you know, kind of experience all the same emotions these characters are going through is great. Like, uh, and I believe that this movie, uh, achieved everything that it set out to do and that's uh that's important in my opinion i think that this movie could definitely be some sort of a uh instant classic in the future de depending on its uh following you know but um i can definitely that like it's got that likableness to it so i i can see this uh going somewhere definitely and uh you know, for like I said, for a first film, I mean, oh my God, you gotta see it for yourself as soon as you're done with this video, if you haven't already. It just blew me away. Um, now this next one is number two because I haven't seen a movie in a while where, uh, you know, like the, it said it was gonna be jaw dropping and it actually was, this one was. This is a science fiction movie, Annihilation. Okay, now uh, to start Natalie Portman and uh, Oscar Isaac or Oscar Isaacs, they're both so good in this movie. Along with uh, the uh, strong female cast, um, I think uh, a lot of these uh, women in, in this movie are kind of like uh, Sigourney Weaver type characters. You know, they're all badass. They all play their role, you know. Um, I'm not going to get into the plot. But the second best thing about this movie, other than the cast, is the, uh, the visuals and spe special effects along with... Um, along with the storyline. I think that um I think that some of the things that happen in this movie are just so uh uh so beautiful looking and uh also disturbing when it needs to be and horrific and terrifying, you know, like uh it pulls you in and it keeps you interested. By the end of the movie you still got questions, so it's it had to be on this list. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. Um yeah, that, that one is a super fun ride. And the final act, oh my god. Hey, oh my god. Check that out. Um, now on a serious note, okay? I don't know if you've seen Deliver Us From Evil, okay? But the uh, the guy who gets possessed in that movie plays... Uh, a, he's the lead role in this movie. And he's just super, uh, super good at playing a suspicious and ominous character. And uh, he stole the show, definitely. Along with the... Uh, the um villain or entity of this movie very uh very very cool and uh different you know i i had never seen anything like this i saw the trailer and immediately wanted to know like what what the deal was you know what's the story what's really going on here that's uh possum okay i mean in the trailer it shows you this bag and you know you can see these long legs you just you just want to know what that is and uh it pays off it pays off there's a super big build up and uh the but the build up is crucial uh like it's slow burn and it's crucial because uh during the build up it gives you time to kind of uh like uh assemble like all these questions in your head and like uh develop like 
uh, theories on what's going on, and uh, it just makes it even more exciting to watch, I think. And uh, super, uh, super eerie and ominous um, visuals and uh, just everything about this movie. It's very bleak and uh, it, it kind of uh, weighs on you in the right way, you know, like you get with the vibe sort of. But uh, super, uh, super weird, kind of a twisted movie, but uh, very cool and original. I hadn't seen anything like it in a while, so uh, that had to go on there. Also, uh, the next one is uh, another horror movie. But um, this one's a remake, and that's um, Suspiria. If you haven't seen the original, check that out, because, uh, you know, it's a, it's a classic for a reason. There's a, definitely uh, great things about that movie uh, by itself. Now, for a remake, it's super well done because it changes a lot of, uh, like, concepts and, uh, like, the storyline mainly. Like, uh, it's just, like, a nice, uh, perfect, fresh look at um, the... Uh, the storyline in, in the way that it's about witches and like the dance studio like if you know then you know definitely check it out also the cast is really nice like uh dakota johnson tilda swinton and also that um a chick from uh uh um kick ass uh the one who played hit girl um so yeah really uh really well done and the final act is uh is uh, very unexpected. There's a lot of things that like uh, happen in the buildup that uh, keep you interested. In the uh, the dance in this movie is crazy. You gotta see that. It's just like uh, some of the things that uh, you see is it's uh, like uh, beautifully bizarre. I guess you could say. Um, yeah, like I said, this movie does a really good job of um, like uh, treating the source material the right way, I guess, you know, like they kept all the right things, you know, the right themes, and they just spiced it, spiced it up even more, you know, they made it even better. It's a fresh new look at the whole uh, witch thing, and it's uh, very, uh, very, um, what's a, uh, refreshing, refreshing, super well done. Um, now, the, uh, the next thing is uh, an animated movie, okay, Change of Pace, all right, uh, Isle of Dogs, okay, now, uh, to start, I just want to say, I mean, look, look at all these dogs, you know, that, that's, um, that was my main reason to see this movie, uh, because it was directed by Wes Anderson, and he did Fantastic Mr. Fox in the past. Now, that movie, I've, I've always loved that movie, just because of the, the fun animation, and uh, it kind of just, like, uh, puts you in a good place, you know, it's just fun to see that, that type of animation and creativity on screen. And uh, also you can uh, uh, just turn this movie on and kind of just go, like go for a fun ride, you know, like uh, disappear for a little bit and get lost with these uh, with these stray dogs. It's fun. Um, oh, look at that. Hey, we're going to keep rolling. All right. We're going to keep rolling. We're eight minutes in. All right. Hey, let's let's be adults about this. OK. Uh, we're not even going to edit it out. We're going to keep it real. I forget what I was going to say the next thing. About, oh, um, the storyline was a little, uh, like, they had me lost at first. But then, uh, you know, just because of the fun animation and, uh, you know, it's just kind of a simple movie, but in a good way, you know, it uh, it keeps you interested. And by the end, uh, everything, like, uh, everything evens out. You know, the plot is good. And uh, also the, uh, you know, I got to say the best part about it is the animation and the voice acting, too. Uh, it was just a fun movie. Um, also, now this is uh, this is not from uh, 2018. I played a trick on you, hey. But uh, if you made it this far, it's all it's all for the right reasons. And I've got uh, one more gem to show you, okay? And that's uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This is the uh, I think this was the 70s one, uh, 78. Yeah. Now I've I've seen the black and white one in the past, you know, but uh, this one is just timeless. That's why I put it on this uh, on this list. It's you can watch it any time, and it's intriguing and weird, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's kind of like the uh, '80s uh, movie, The Blob. I think it was '80s. You know, it's just like a blast from the past in a good way, kind of a feel good, just uh, fun, uh, strange movie. Um, and, and the concept is still kind of, uh, you know, it's just interesting, like someone, a plant duplicating you, and like, if you saw yourself walking around, it'd be like, hey, there can only be one of us, you know, um, but yeah, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, I mean, the cover, you know, that happens in the movie, and it's like, whoa, whoa, you know, 
people turning into pods what it's still it's still like a, a cool concept so I had to put it out there so uh, that's that we did it we got through it if you were real you uh, you got through the whole thing and now you got some good movies to watch all right I uh, hope you enjoyed if you liked uh, hey do what you whatever you want do whatever you want it's whatever you want it to be um, all right that's it